just incredible. Two. Two. DJ Sour Mill. One. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. H-Town. Meg, what's happening? How you feeling? Yeah. I'm feeling super excited today. It's a good day. Mm. Blessed day, right? Mm. The blessed day for the hotties. Yes, yes, yes. Congrats on the new album. Uh, good News is out. How does it feel? Um, It's amazing. Like... I cannot believe that the album is finally out, finally here. Um, I had to write the album in quarantine, mm. in lockdown. So it was literally me and the dogs in the living room, turned up, <laughs> writing the whole album. Right. <laughs> is, 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 was, how different is the writing process, you know, being in quarantine? And, and does that affect your process at all? Or, or, or you kind of just stick to yourself when you write anyway? I'll be, I, I'm always with myself, like, if, if it's writing or if it's recording in the studio. Like, I don't mm. like a lot of people in the studio. It's always me and my engineer and then me writing by myself. Okay. Uh, I write in the shower. Mm. I write in the car. Mm. I write wherever I can get it in at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you just send voice notes to yourself and have a crazy, like, stash of, of bars in the phone? or how? Do like, you... I have a crazy stash of bars in the notes. Like, the only time I write a voice note is if, like, I did something weird with the flow. And I'm like damn, I forgot how to even spit this out. So yeah. I have to like record it so I remember. <laughs> those yeah. cadences, those cadences. Yes. Um, yep. I love how you titled the album Good News too. That's what we needed, especially in a year like in this. this. Yes. Like I wanted to see, oh, good news is trending. Good news is number one. Everybody's that. talking about good news. Oh my yeah. gosh, go listen to good news. Like finally, some mm. good news is coming <laughs> and it's coming from Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> yes, talk to him, talk Real to him. Real hot girl shit. Yo, Real hot girl shit. The, the, the crazy shit to me is, uh, I, I know you've had projects before. This isn't your, but this is your debut album. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't even realize that. I, cause, you know, you, your your name has been buzzing so heavy. You know, over the last what two years or so. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and it it doesn't seem like it's your first album, but this is your debut album. Because I like to, all my other projects was either EPs or mixtapes. Mm. And I'm like, you know what? We're dating. We're getting to know each other. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm like ready to be committed. So okay. there's an album. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. They ready right. for it. This is, you know, when you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. And, and how, 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 how long did it take, you know, you to know that this was the one? Did you, before you started the process of this album, did you tell yourself, all right, I'm going in, I'm recording the album, or were you just recording and you were like, okay, this feels right? No, I went in with the intent to start creating an album. Mm, okay. Um, and I was happy because I finally got to spend some time by myself. Before quarantine, I had shows every single day. <laughs> mm. So literally, I'm writing at the weirdest times. Like, I'm writing in between shows. I'm writing uh, before an interview. Like, I'm writing in the car on the way to the airport. So... With this, I actually got to sit down, yeah. and, you know, right in the shower, like calmly. I could stay in the shower for an hour. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I could, I could drive around the city for however long. Like I can, I can spend this quality time to myself to actually spit out some bars. You know. Yeah, that's dope, man. <laughs> Much needed. We 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 were actually just talking about that as well, man. It's like, you know, people people in the, in, in in the industry, we stay so busy, we travel a lot. Um, mm-hmm. So so. Yes, the pandemic sucks, the lockdown sucks, but it's it's honestly kind of refreshing to have time off and, and time to yourself because, man, mentally you need that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like definitely. You spend so much time uh, taking in other people's energy, mm. you don't even get to like spend time with your own. Like I needed to push a reset button. Like, oh. Yeah. For sure. Get back to loving me right quick, cause I've been loving all y'all all year. <laughs> yeah. It's time to love me. Yeah. It's time to love me. <laughs> so that's that's really what um, what helped me write during this whole process too, cause I had like mirrors all around in the living room, cause I spent a lot of time in the living room writing. So I had mirrors and I had all the windows open, and I'm like looking in the mirror, cause I had gained the quarantine fifteen. Ooh. Definitely. Yeah. I was, a little fluffy thing. I, 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 yeah. I, I'm there. I, I, I'm yeah, there. I, I think I got like a quarantine 30 personally for me, but team thick. You I know? was cooking all kind of stuff, so I'm like looking in the mirror, like, dang, I st- my booty grew. I was like, hold up. So, <laughs> so I was definitely like just loving my body, and you know, yeah, you gotta. That's really kind of sort of how body got written too. I was in the mirror, like twerking and stuff, like, oh, look at that quarantine 15. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. You talk about cadence, and you talk about flow, and and you know. An amazing fly video. Let's t- let's start there with Body off the album. It's a fucking incredible record. 
Yeah, like I Ooh. wrote, I called you. That's my my producer, and I'm like, Jew, I need a beat, and I needed to sound like a girl is getting her life. And he's like, What you mean? I'm like, You know, <laughs> like give me, give me a beat that you know kind of sounds like a porno. And he's like, <laughs> He's like, Okay, bet I got you. So yeah. he sends me the beat right back, and I'm like, This is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. So boom, I start writing. I wrote all the verses. And I, I had wrote like 15 verses to body because I could not figure out what I wanted the hook to be. And I'm, I'm like, you know, what? let me just feel myself. What would I naturally do to this beat if I heard it? And then boom, that's how body, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. how that's crazy. Is that is that normally how the, the recording process works for you? Do you do you hit people up and be like, like, yo, I got this idea, you know, do this for me. Or, or is it a lot of times people will come to you with ideas like, yo, like check this. Producers that I know. Like, mm-hmm. I'll call them and be like, like, okay, so the song Freaky Girls with Scissor. Mm-hmm. I call Juicy and I'm like, Juicy, I need you to flip a uh, freak like me for mm-hmm. me. And he's like, that's going to be fire. Hell yeah, yeah, I got you. So a lot of times, like, I know what I'm looking for. Uh-huh. Like, I'll call somebody from my team. Even if even if I don't want to use Ju or Juicy J, I'm like, y'all, find me somebody who can make me a beat with a freaking lawnmower sound in it. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then somebody will come back with it and it'll be fire. That's dope. You now, got you got records like Go Crazy mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. and Body like multiple records on this album that are when they let us back in a club or <laughs> we are able to perform turning up. Oh, oh my like, god. Shit. We're turning the club upside down. <laughs> yeah. Upside yeah. down. Yeah, talk to us about the record Go Crazy. So, this is a beat that one of my a and R sent me, my A and R sent me, and he's like, Megan, I really feel like you would like this beat because at this point, like my team knows what I like, they'll know what I'll go crazy for. <laughs> so he sent me the beat, and I'm like, this beat is actually fire. Like, mm-hmm. okay. So, but when I heard it, I was like, Big Sean will skate all over this beat, and I'm like, you know who else will skate on this beat? Chains. So I text him, I'm like, Chains, I really need you to hop on this song. It's fire. Watch. So I recorded my verses, and I sent the song to him, and he sent the song back like literally like a few hours later, and I'm like. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're That's, so amazing. Yeah. And then we sent it to Sean too, and he came back and he did exactly what I knew he was going to do anyway. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's how we got to go crazy. That's dope. That's really dope. Now, Meg, uh, I, I touched briefly on, you know, this this last year and a half, two years, uh, you know, how, how crazy and insane it's been for you. Um, did you notice, was there a time that you noticed you know, the, the the switch was was it something that, that, that you remember happening and you were like, Oh yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like obviously I am sure you always had confident confidence in yourself and you always knew it was gonna pan out, but was there a time when it actually clicked? Um listen, I, I don't wanna take obviously you were the one that came in here and spit the bars, but I remember when you when you came into the LA Leakers freestyle, I was like Yo, this this is insane. I, I who was it? Bebe that you did before us, maybe? Yeah, I, I did so. Bebe yeah. Um, yeah. in Dallas. And I think and, I wrapped up with a Big Papa beat. Yeah, yeah. With Bebe, yeah. you did Big Papa. Then with us, you did America's Most Wanted. Mm-hmm. And then, like, but what was the moment for you? I mean, for 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 us, I feel like you know. That, but that, maybe that's just me being biased. You know what I'm saying? Was I, was like, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Like we, well, we, we I really, were on. I really like to rap. So like, when I was hitting the stations freestyle and I'm like, this is so fun to me. Yeah. This is what I like to do. Just what I thought rappers were supposed to be doing. Was yeah. yeah. Talk exactly. to him. Talk exactly. to him, man. Exactly. Talk to him, man. Exactly. <laughs> but um like I really felt like when I start seeing people being very receptive to the freestyles and to mm-hmm. like you know, giving me my props, like yeah. you know, because I be rapping. Hell so yeah. when I saw people giving me my props, I'm like, okay, you know what? Like I knew I was going hard, mm-hmm. but like I appreciate y'all for telling me I'm going. Hard. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. Like when I see the hotties gas me up, I'm like, yeah, I know I'm. I, I done did it. I'm really doing something. But I ain't gonna never get comfortable. Like I'm never gonna be like, okay, you know what? I made it. Like girl, I'm chilling now. Like no, no, no. Like, I nah. got to go harder. Yeah. I got to on the gas. Myself. Foot on the gas. Yeah. yeah, you could tell. You could tell you didn't take no bars off on this album. Like, you could tell, you know, <laughs> how, how how focused you are, that, that hunger flow, like, to really yeah. hold that crown. And, you know, before we go any further, you know, some congratulations are in order. Today's a very special day with the Grammy nominations, man. Mm. Congratulations, mm-hmm. girl. Thank you. Damn. I, like. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Like I'm, I'm just reading, you know, the other nominees off, and they pop in, and they're like, "Well, Megan, you're nominated." And I was like, "What?" 
<laughs> that's fucking wild, Ooh. man. That's it's crazy. so wild. Like just thinking where I come from and like where I started and you know how hard I've been going. I ain't gonna stop going hard. I ain't getting comfortable or nothing. And I and I make music for the hotties. Like I make music because I genuinely like to make music. I'm not making the music because I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope these I do these numbers or I hope this happens. Like I'm making music because music make me feel good and I want to make other people feel good. But when when I do get that acknowledgement, I'm like, well, well, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come on, that yeah, be, <laughs> best like- best rap song among the nominee. Best, best perf- rap song, best, best new artist, best rap performance. Yeah, mm. you and, an, and you- record of the year. Talk your shit. Come I on, like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Wait, Meg. So, 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 when was the? Uh, I just want to backtrack a little bit here because we're talking about Grammys. You know, the debut album is out. Um, what was the 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 point that you told yourself that you were really going to take this rap thing serious, and you were like, Nah, I'm I'm full fledged with it. Mm. Or, or is that something that just I happened really wanted gradually? To... No, um, I probably was like seven, and I knew Shh. I wanted to like rap. Because um, my mom was a rapper, so I would watch her come home every day, writing and going to the studio, and she probably thinking I'm just, oh, I'm a little kid, and I'm yeah. doing a little kid shit. But no, I'm watching you <laughs> rap, because now I want to do it. <laughs> so um, when I turned like 18, 19, I feel like I told my mama I could rap. And she's like, no, you can't. And I'm like, yeah, I can. And I was like, but look, though, I'm a curse. So (laughs) (laughs) So I I let her hear me rap, but she was like. (gasps) (laughs) Yo, that's always so awkward. Even for me, I I feel like I still I don't know, man. I'm I'm a a grown ass man. You know, I live on my own, but. Something about being around your parents and, and cussing it's, and it's and different. Cursing, but I told her I was like, "Mama, don't get mad." So then I cursed, and she was like, "Where did you get this mouth from?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Girl, we've been listening to UGK, Three Six Mafia since I was a baby." Talking yeah. about where did you get your mouth from, and then I feel like she didn't really take me seriously. So I had left, and I had went to college, and this is why I didn't want to tell nobody in the first place because I'm like. Okay, everybody already know me. They don't know me for rapping in my, in this life. So when I go to college, I must be making a stallion and I'm gonna be a rapper. So when I got to college, I'm a well I say I am. So I get on campus and I'm like rapping in, at parties and I'm like rapping to you know my my dorm mates and and everybody know me as making stallion and rapping. So it's normal at college. So um, <laughs> I have like a a video and I I put it on YouTube. My homegirl put it on YouTube and whew, now everybody knows. And I'm like, Mama. I got this video that's on YouTube, so don't be surprised if you see it. She's like, well, what you talking about? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up. <laughs> and, and so then she was like, you know what, Megan, I'm managing you. And then after that, it was like, whoosh. Wow, history, here we are. Uh, and and speak, speaking of college real quick, I, w- I wanna commend you on, on on everything you're doing, you know, with the, with the scholarships and, and, and stuff like that. Why, why is, you know, doing that and, and helping people out that need it so important to you, uh, you know, paying people's tuition and, and, you know, just doing things like that, 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 you know, might get overlooked. A lot of people don't talk about it, I feel like, but it should be talked about because it, it, it's it's a beautiful thing that mm-hmm. you do. That you do. Uh, why is that so important to you? Um, I just remember what it felt like to be a young black girl going to college and I'm like, damn, I didn't know I was about to have to pay student loans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I didn't. I don't know nothing about financial aid. Who the hell is Sally Mae? Like, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. like I didn't know anything about that whole process. And I just remember thinking, "Dang, my mama said <laughs> that I'm not. I'm not helping that. Like, you are gonna have to when you get you you an adult. Like, yeah. you have to figure this out." And I'm like, Jesus Christ, how am I gonna pay back twenty thousand dollars? Like, you know what I'm saying? That mm-hmm. just sound. That, that amount of money is so overwhelming. So I'm like, you know what? Now that I'm in a position to help myself and help others, hell yeah, I'm gonna help people because I remember feeling helpless. Yeah. So yeah. now that I'm in a position to help, like I just feel like it's easy. It's, why wouldn't I? That's yeah. easy layup. No, that's dope, man. That's really dope. dope. It's a beautiful thing. And then a huge, you know, congrats on on a million point two dollars in sales on Fashion Nova collection in day one. Wow. Uh, was having a fashion line, was that always a dream of yours, Meg? Um, it's not that it was always a dream. As I got older and I started coming into my body, 
I would be like, oh my gosh, I really wish that I could find jeans that fit. I really, <laughs> I really wish that these little triangle tops wasn't only for little titty girl. Uh, <laughs> little titty girl. Where is the love for my body? Yeah. So once I got the opportunity to, um, you know, collaborate with a line as big as Fashion Nova, I'm like, look, we about to make this all inclusive because everybody ain't got that little bitty ass perfect body yeah. uh, <laughs> that you close it for. My, my, so. my, sister, my sister always tells me, you will never understand what it's like to have to jump up and down to get in a pair of jeans. You will never understand it. You will never understand never the, get it. War, the tug of war that, it, that a big boot girl has to go with with a swimsuit top just to get in that thing, j just to get in the pool with it. Like, why do I have to go this hard? <laughs> <laughs> just to go swimming. <laughs> just to go swimming. <laughs> so, yeah, for real. I had to I had to represent for us. <laughs> That's dope. That's, That's dope. really dope. Um, real quick, Meg, uh, I, I know you you spoke on you know spending time alone and and you know writing and and how how serious uh, do you think America is taking this pandemic and how serious should we be taking it? Um, honestly. I feel like there's a good percentage of people who are taking it seriously, mm -hmm. but social media kind of turns everything into a joke. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of people who, you know, have not been directly affected by it. So, yeah. you know, they don't take it as seriously. Um, I feel like we, we should take it more seriously because it, it is a real thing that is really affecting everybody. Um, and I hate, I hate that when something happens to you, then you feel it and then you start straightening up yeah. acting right. Yeah, but that's kind of what's what's starting to happen. Like people are starting to get their jobs. Uh, people's family members are getting sick, and it's scary. I want I can't even go see my grandmother. Yeah. Um, like I refuse to go see her because I don't, I don't know how COVID you know really even works. Like, mm. is it on my clothes? I know I don't have it. I have to get tested every single day. But I would never even put my grandmother in jeopardy. So right. whatever we need to do. Mm. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and knock it out. Like we were uneducated about it at first, but all right, let's let's get it together. Somebody need to come in and tell us regulate. All right, sit down. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Work real. together. We got to work together. For yeah. real. Uh, you know, getting back to the album, good news out right now. Uh, I want to talk about a song, "Do It on the Tip." Uh, you you mentioned uh, <laughs> you mentioned we, yeah we can get into the title and all of that, but on on how earlier in the conversation you were speaking about rapping into the mirror and you know featured on this song is Hot Girl Meg as a feature. How mm -hmm. do you go about picking you know kind of the alter egos that are going to go on each song? How does that you know come into play? Like this song was so Hot Girl Meg. Uh, <laughs> it was so turned up. So I'm about to twerk. So where the boys at? You know. <laughs> yes. And this song just made me want to draw the boat. Like, and <laughs> that's how I knew it was Hot Girl Meg. Um, Hot Girl Meg with the city girls. Psh, that's Come out of on. here. <laughs> Come on. Automatic. Easy. Automatic. Yeah. Uh, you know, whenever the clubs do open back up. You know, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be for, you know, a few mo few more, you know, months, months here. At least, at least yeah. right? Uh, but but what are the what are the songs that you think off of the project that are guaranteed to flip that shit upside down? Definitely Body. Uh, definitely Movie with Lil Durk. Mm. I can't wait to go to the strip club and listen to that song. Yep. Uh, and eat some wings. Um, yeah, yeah. Probably what's new and uh work that like i'm excited to hear those like i feel like you could listen to the whole album in whatever club in the lounge in the hookah spot in the strip club in the turn up club all that um speaking of speaking of wings and, and strip clubs are you more of a you know i'm satisfied having wings at a strip club kind of girl or do you need to go to like uh what, what's that fucking restaurant what, like buffalo wild wings no, or... no no no. i'm talking about what what's what's the fucking fancy shit that everybody be going to a malibu uh, I don't oh know like a nobu? Nobu. nobu like a nobu yeah are you are you more of a let's go to nobu or like let's go to strip clubs and just have some wings and just chill out i ain't gonna hold you <laughs> <laughs> You ain't got to take me to Nobu all the time. But but it's nice. But it's nice. It's cool. But I would definitely rather go to the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> I like, yes. like We get to turn up and we eat wings. Yeah. Two of my favorite 
things, like you might be bae. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. why we love you, Meg. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Meg, let's talk about the SNL performance. This was one of the most memorable performances for me for 2020. Mm. Yes. Uh, definitely SNL performances. It was just so powerful and impactful. Um, in that moment, can you take us there? Because like you say, coming from where you come from, Grammy nominated, SNL performances, uh, you know, kind of walk us through that moment for you. Like getting the opportunity to perform on Saturday Night Live was amazing. And I'm like, you know what, man? You got all these people watching. This is a hell of a platform. Let's get on here and you know use it to our advantage. Let's talk about the things that need to be talked about. Uh, I am a black woman and I want to be protected. And I'm pretty sure, well, I know for a fact, there are millions of other black women who have been in instances where they should have been protected and they were not. Um, so that's why I decided to take that time on, on Saturday Night Live and tell that to the world. Mm -hmm. Protect us, protect black women and protect black men. Mm. That's right. Damn, that's that's real talk. Love it. Um, real quick, let me just let me just read a couple stats real quick, Meg. Uh, just this is just for the people, you know, just for those that might still be sleeping a little bit. We gotta give or, the flowers. You know, we gotta may, give may, her the flowers. Maybe they're on the <laughs> fence a little bit. Come like, on. Um, so both the Savage Remix and WAP have now sold over four million units to date. Uh, Good News earns the second biggest debut for a rap album on Spotify, six or six point nine million streams. Uh, what, what, what else is there? Let's see. Good News has reached number one on Apple Music in twelve countries, simultaneously occupied by uh, occupied the number one spot for both album and single on Apple Music. And of course, Megan Thee Stallion was crowned uh, Apple Music's you know breakthrough artist of the year. Let's go. Meg, Woo! hell Woo! of a hell of a fucking year, man. Hell of you hell definitely of definitely made the best out of out yeah. of a f fucking crazy year, crazy definitely. year. Like as soon as something come at me, I'm gonna figure out. Okay, how can we make it better? Or yeah. I, what we gonna do next? Like you don't dwell on the bad. Mm. A bad day only lasts 24 hours. So how are we about to use this next 24 hours? Woo! Like, that's that's a bar. You hear that? That's a bar. <laughs> that's a bar. Our audience could take a lot from that. Listen to Meg. Listen to Meg on that. Uh, <laughs> just on some, just on some rap music fan shit. Uh, have you have you heard how good Dom Kennedy's new album is? Mm. Oh no, don't tell me because I so, need to go listen. Yeah, when you get some time, that's definitely gonna be one you're gonna enjoy. Because y'all know that's my boy, and I love me some Dom Kennedy. Yes, oh yeah, yes, nah, yes. we see you rapping it all the time. We see you hearing all the it. Time. Yeah, no question. <laughs> Yeah, and, and 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 you know that's that is such a fucking beautiful thing to hear because we we've known Dom is our brother. We've known Dom for many many moons. We've we've yeah. done projects with him, and and to see you know someone of, of of your status, just like really fuck with his shit and just see how dope he really is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people like, I've don't. I've been loving him for so long. Like when I first got put on Dom music, I was like. Is this a secret? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Does exactly. nobody else know how hard this is going? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So it's it's, it's OPM till it's over. Till it's That's right. over. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Over. Also, congrats on the uh, you know Rihanna's Savage you know Fenty partnership that you have. That major major looks. I remember last time you had come through to the radio station. Uh, God, the, the the orange Adidas bin had just pulled up to the crib from Beyonce. <laughs> no, we was both uh, low key matching. We had on neon stuff. I had on the, uh, the green right. neon shirt. That's yeah. right, we were. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay, friend. You knew how I was coming today. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to make sure the photo op was just. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> um, who who else are you looking, you know, to work with? Who else is, you know, kind of on your on your wish list of collaborations? I really, really, really want to collab with Rihanna. Mm. Mm -hmm. The world the needs that. Yes. Let's put that into the universe. Your fans want to see it. The Re bad girl and the hot girl. Yes, Re, Re. I know. Listen, Re. Come on. You hear it, Re. You we hear, it. hear it. Come on. Yes, we need it, please. And Meg, <laughs> and, and when when it happens, listen, because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You you need to send it over to the L.A. Leakers, and you already know we're gonna go stupid with it. Oh yeah, exclusive. Come on, <laughs> come on. You heard it here first. You heard that it. That jacket is fire. Oh, the thank you. Jacket? Yeah, cool. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll let you borrow it next time you come out here. All right, thank you. <laughs> Take it from me. <laughs> All uh, right, good news, good news, good news. Just what we needed to hear. Meg, congrats on everything from the album to the Grammy nominations. Yes. Uh, we want to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. 
Happy Thank holidays. Uh, we love you. We love your energy. We love everything you represent. Love here. y'all. Love, Meg. Thank you so much. And congrats on everything. Eat a lot of food for me. Oh, oh we will. Trust me. I'm what, about, quarantine yeah, 15? Yeah, yeah. We're going quarantine yeah, 20. This, at this point, we're on a quarantine 30. Just yeah. Fuck it at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a few steps ahead of you. I'm going, to, I'm going on quarantine probably like 40. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm there with you. Yeah. Thank I'm you, Meg. I'm going to my boot, so it's good. All right. <laughs>